the Watergate Building in Washington, this is Hotline TV. Now hear Hotline editors Amy Walter and John Mercurio. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Vegas, baby. I'm John Mercurio. How's the weather out there in uh, Detroit, Amy Walter? Yeah, it's a little bit cold and icy, but um, it's, it's primary day, so... Uh, all right, well, today's theme is uh, split screen for your viewing pleasure. Remember, we got McCain and Romney here battling for the Comeback Kids storyline in Michigan. Or we've got Democrats debating in Nevada on Martin Luther King's birthday. All right, so Amy, which scene do you think is going to provide the knockout punch? Well, uh, I'm up here in Michigan. Let's remember, voters are actually voting here, John, as opposed to blah, blah, blahing in the debates. Look. Here's the deal. Everybody seems to be convinced McCain doesn't win here in Michigan today. The Mo is gone. Now, I think there are two issues for him. Can he use his bounce in Michigan if he does win to go on to South Carolina and then become unstoppable? Um, more importantly, if he doesn't win in Michigan, how does he raise any money to keep going in South Carolina and Florida? And in fact, national polls have shown him starting to move up. But does he still get to compete if he doesn't have any money? The bottom line, I think, here is, yes, it could be Mitt's story, but is he going to get the bounce he thinks he is? South Carolina, tough place for him. Maybe he just doesn't play there at all. Don't know. Interesting. Interesting. Well, back here in Vegas, where the casinos are rolling, and I'm just walking down the strip, as you can tell, I think it's going to be a good night. Look, obviously, Democrats, the three, the three main uh, contenders here, we've got uh, Edwards, Hillary, uh, and Obama are going to have to, are probably going to have to contend with Dennis Kucinich, who's worked his way into this debate. Uh, but what I think we're going to be watching closely is the main event between uh, um, Obama and Clinton. It'll be interesting to see to what extent MSNBC, which has done a good job in the past debates at sort of framing the fight. Uh, by the questions they ask, by the, by, the, by the way that they set up the stage, whether or not they're even going to allow Kucinich to answer a question for the first hour of the debate, uh, and to what extent Edwards plays a role. He's been virtually inv invisible since New Hampshire, um, except when he tries to sort of wiggle his way into the, the, the increasingly cantankerous debate going on between Clinton and Obama. Whatever, to what, but to what extent he plays a role in the debate, uh, I think could say a lot about how well he does in Nevada. But I think, again, the main event, Clinton versus Obama on Martin Luther King's birthday, we hear a lot about Ronald Reagan uh, during Republican debates. I'm predicting we're going to hear a heck of a lot uh, about Martin Luther King. It's his birthday, uh, and we have the South Carolina primary uh, in just a few days. It should be extremely interesting. But, Amy, it's time for me to go. It's time for the Cirque du Soleil and uh, Celine Dion doubleheader later on tonight, so i got to go rest my, uh, rest my voice. <clears throat> yeah, I, I can't feel my fingers or my toes anymore, so I'm going to... I'm going to try to go inside, but um, thanks, uh, thanks a lot for leaving me in Michigan, John. But remember, I'm going to be in South Carolina for the primaries. Ha ha. Whatever you say, Amy. Well, thanks for watching Hotline TV today. We'll see you tomorrow.